make an NPC, how to make him move around, how to make him talk. Uh, we'll be doing things later on like how to make him give you quests that you can complete. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll jump right into making him talk and move around first, and I'll explain a little bit more. Alright, so first thing you want to do. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to select this little plug-in icon. This one is to edit the landscape. This one is to make things that make other things happen. So we're going to choose the plug-in, double click. It's got a name that we can give this plug-in, so we're going to call him NPC1. Alright, so we got NPC1. Now we got to select an image that's displayed on our screen that represents us. So we're going to go down to people. And we'll go we'll go with the old man right here. So now we have our name, we have our image. So this is this is what you're gonna see on the screen. Okay, but I'll show you. So now he's on the screen. He's there. Can't do anything with him yet. He's just an image. Alright, so this we're not worried about this at the very moment. This is his movement. The type is fixed. So what that means is that he's gonna be fixed in that position. Uh, the other types are random, approach, and custom. So random means around means that he's just going to move around randomly. Random locations, he's just going to keep moving. Uh, approach is, means as soon as you start the screen, as soon as you start your game, he's going to run up to you. He's going to come up to you, and the contents, which is what he says and stuff, will start firing off as soon as you load up the game. Custom means you can you can create a custom path for him to walk around in any direction. So right now we're going to leave him to fix. He's not going to move around. And the priority is same as character, which means that you're not going to be able to walk through him. He's going to be an object in your path. You're not going to be able to go on top of him. He's not going to go on top of you. He, he's a solid object in your path. You can't walk through him at all. And this is the trigger. The trigger is w what makes him say the things he makes. So the trigger is the action button, which is usually like the point, the cr left click for your mouse or any other action button that you set it to. Or you can do player touch. As soon as you run into him, then it'll start firing off. Event touch. As soon as you run into an event he's connected to, then it starts firing off. Auto run, same as, uh, same as the approach. It's just going to run as soon as you start your, start your game. Parallel, it means it's going to keep running. Okay, so we'll leave it at action button for now. And we're just going to have him say something. So you double click contents and this box comes up. Event command. Uh, messages. Show text, show choice, input number, select item, show scrolling text. We're going to worry about this box for now and leave these other boxes alone. So what we want to do is make him say something. So we're going to click show text. It's got the option for a face and text. So we'll go to the face here, go down to people one, because that's where we found him, and it has a face for him. So now your text box has a face, and it's not just words. So we're going to make him say, greetings, fellow traveler, exclamation mark. So the background is window or dim. Or transparent we'll do it as window for now and this is window position this is the bottom top middle and you can even preview it give me a sec there it is that's what it'll look like okay so we'll hit OK on that and now let me show you exactly how that's gonna look for you play test save changes to game game. Alright, now we can walk over here to him. He's not moving anywhere because he's got a fixed position. So now we'll click on him. There it is. Greetings, fellow traveler. Alright. Alright, next step. Now we're gonna we're gonna add some dialogue options for you to be able to talk back to him. And you can make this say anything you want. So what you do is click show choices. It's usually yes, no, and you get up to six choices. So choice one is the default choice. And choice choice number two is, is cancel. But you can make cancel any choice, disallow, or branch. 
So you could he says greetings fellow traveler. You could say hello my friend. Back to him. Or for the cancel option on choice number 2, you can say go away. All right. Now we click that. Now that what that does is it puts two two choices here. Now he'll say greetings, fellow traveler. It'll show you choices. Hello, my friend, or go away. When you say hello, my friend, he will say something else. Let me put a face on. There we go. So you said hello, my friend. And he'll just say, how, eh, no, he'll say weather's nice today. There we go. Now he's going to say the weather is nice today. Now when you say go away, nothing's going to happen. He's not going to say anything back, and that'll be the end. So it'll follow down the line. First text pops up, greetings, fellow traveler. It'll show you choices. Hello, my friend, or go away. When you say hello, my friend, he will say weather is nice today, and it will end. When you say go away, it will end. Okay, now let's do that. Go over to him. Greetings, my fellow traveler. And now you have these options here. You can select either one. So we'll say hello, my friend. Weather is nice today, and it ends. Talk to him again. Hello, my friend, or go away. Go away, and it just ends. Now, now you might, might have noticed that every time I click on him, it goes through the same thing over and over again. Over and over again. And it'll, it will keep doing that. But you can change it to make it not do that. So when it ends... You can put self switches, control self switch, and you'll put self switch A to on. Now what that does is this, this page doesn't have a letter. It's basically like number zero. Now you want to go to the next page, basically. So what you do there is you go ahead and get the old man back. You don't have to change the name, it's already there. But this time we're clicking self switch. And it's already got A selected because that's the first switch. Now. Now when it's on this page, we'll show text from the old man here. Get his picture back. And we'll say, I already talked. To you today. Okay. So now, what it does is, it shows the text. Hello, or greetings, fellow traveler. It'll show your choices. Hello, my friend, go away. When you say hello, my friend, he'll say the weather is nice. And then it'll turn on control self switch A. When you say go away, it'll turn on control self switch A. And then, it flips to this page because you have check marked self switch A. And then now he's not going to say all this again. He will say this. Let me show you that. So we'll go up to him. Greetings, my fellow traveler. Hello, my friend. Go away. Say hello, my friend. Weather is nice. Okay, I talked to him once. I chose my option. I'm going to talk to him again. I already talked to you today. I already talked to you today. I already talked to you today. So we switched over from that initial that initial part, and now, now he'll only say this page is content from page number two. Okay, and that'll be used later on in, like, when you're trying to make a quest. After you've completed the quest, then you'll turn on a self switch to switch to the next page so he doesn't keep trying to give you the quest over and over again. 
All right, let's make a move. So his his movement is six. So first we're gonna set it to we'll set it to random just so I can show you exactly what's going on there. So we're on here now, and he's just walking around randomly. He's not walking in any specific direction that I want him to walk. He's just he's just gonna keep moving. And while he's moving around randomly in this area, I can still come up and talk to him just like I could when he was in a fixed position. So we'll say, hello, my friend. Weather is nice today. I already talked to you. There you go. Now we're going to look at approach. Okay. Now, as soon as I hit play, he's going to come over here. He's working his way slowly. I don't have the speed turned up on him. So he's approaching. Greetings, my fellow traveler. Hello, my friend. Weather is nice. I already talked to you. Okay. So you saw how slow he was. We, we could turn his speed up to uh, normal. I'll show you that real quick. So now he's approaching quicker, but he's he's pausing in between. That's because his frequency is low. His movement frequency, how frequent he moves, and I'll show you. This is the frequency. It's on normal. We could turn it to higher or highest. So this is higher, and now he's moving more frequently. He's coming right over here. He got a little lost for a second. All right, now we'll go away. Okay, so that was that. And the highest will make him basically move nonstop. Okay, so that was approach. And last one we have here is custom. So we're going we're gonna to set a route for him. Now the, the route button is here. We're going to set a route for him. So where he's at right now, we can say we want him to move down one square. Move down another square. Move down another square, move left, move left, and then turn down. And we could do a lot of other other things here, but we're just going to leave it like this for now. Okay. And he's just going to keep repeating this motion unless we tell him to stop. So let's go in here and make a route. You can uh, check repeat movements. That's automatically checked. So you can uncheck that. I was looking for it. Uncheck that, and he won't do it anymore. All right. So now you have created an NPC that could move at random. It can approach you when you start the game. It can move on a custom route. You could talk to it, and you can have different dialogue options for you to choose from to say back to him, which controls the conversation, basically. And you can switch it to a new page now. So that should be a, a good little bit of basics for you on making your first NPC and giving a little bit of life to your game. And, uh, yeah, if you like this, if you learned anything, uh, hit the subscribe button. I'll be, I'll be making more content like this, uh, especially with more RPG Maker. Because, like I said, I know my way around it a little bit. Just enough to, to actually get the layout in my head and find things pretty easily. So I'll be making more content like this to help you out with your games. So if, if you want to, if you want to subscribe and keep up to date, with uh, the, the RPG Maker content coming out, I will definitely be rolling it out as quick as I can. Thanks for watching, everybody. Trick Ghoul, out.